Hello everyone, and today we are checking out the Luck Weather Sync, which is a real-life weather sync for 5M, so it syncs the weather toward whatever weather it is where you currently are or wherever you set it to be in the uh, server.lula file, which is really, really cool. I've never seen a resource kind of do this before, so I think it's a really cool thing to see here um, on 5M. So we're going to take a look on how you set this up. It does require an API key from a third-party site, so we're going to go over how to create that, and you also have to download it to your server, enter all the info into the config, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and get started on this so the first thing we kind of have to do is you're going to go ahead and click where it says you can get this api api key from here the link will also be down in the description it will take you to the weatherapi.com it's a really useful site a lot of different um resources around the internet use it for different things um it just provides a free a million api crests per month i believe yeah a million api calls per month which is probably going to be enough for your 5m server there should be no reason to have any more than that um so it should be completely free for you if for some reason you need to make more API calls or you want it to update more frequently, which there really isn't a reason to in GTA, uh, you can obviously get one of their other packs, but it's not really required. So in order to go ahead and get your API key, you're going to go ahead and click sign up and it's going to ask you for your uh, email, password, and if you're a human. So we're going to go ahead and type in my email here. Um, obviously this is my business email because we're using this for the um, video. Uh, your email becomes your username, so just go ahead and remember that. And then obviously type a password. Um, I'm just going to type a very simple password, which will be changed after the video in case someone has good hearing enough to figure out what keys I'm typing. Um, so I could create a new easy password, just go ahead and click sign up and you can see account verification. Please log into the email account and verify it. So we're going to go ahead and go to my email and verify that now. So once you are in your email, you get two emails. You get an account activation email and a thank yous for subscribing email. The thank you for subscribing email just goes over, hey, you got free summary. It's just a free plan, next renewals. Then you can just ignore this because you're obviously not using it for paid resources. Um, then you can go into your web or API, uh, API activation email and just click the link and it will take you to a new page which is like, hey, you verified your account, log in. So we're gonna go to the login page. We're gonna type in that email that we just used um, to create our account and the password we just used to create our account because that's going to come in a lot of handy all right uh, so i went ahead and uh, got in i got i just typed my password wrong but anyway when you get in you get a page like this and at the top literally it just says api key here i am going to show you the whole api key for one reason i'm going to regenerate it after this video so you're not going to be able to use my api key it won't work for you just don't try to steal it i know people have done that in the past with my steam api keys and stuff really guys seriously um i just changed them after the videos don't worry about it um so anyway we're just going to go ahead and use this so now what we actually have to do is download the resource for 5m which you can just click the download link and it will take you to github on github all you have to do is click code and then download zip file and it'll go ahead and download a zip file and you open it up with winrar or winzip or whatever you use to open your files all right so once you're in here you're also going to open up your server to actually data folder because that's going to come in a lot of handy um so we're going to have this folder and inside of here you can see there's an fx manifest client and server um so we're going to go into our resources folder and we're just going to drag this whole folder over there and you can see it's luck dash main weather sync dash main and that's fine you can rename this if you want you can keep it the same for my case i'm just going to name it weather sync so i know exactly what it is um, but you can obviously name it whatever you want inside this file this is where we're actually going to modify stuff we're going to go into the server.lula file and edit it with notepad or notepad plus plus i highly recommend notepad plus plus and you can see you need the api key and city so our api key we're going to get over here from the site and you're just going to double click and copy it or if your mouse is like mine you just have to copy it manually and you're going to paste that in and then for city you can use pretty much any time zone city um so in my case i'm going to use la because that's where i am so i'm going to type los underscore angeles and that should work perfectly fine all we have to do uh, finally is to go back to our server data go to our server.cfg file edit it with notepad or note plus 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 and ensure the folder name in our case it's weather sync go ahead and save and start our 5m server now if you didn't realize um through the other videos on the channel is we actually can check if the resource started correctly over in the console um, so it does take a second to start up normally just because it is 5M and it does take a little while to start up. But once you um, start it up, we're going to see it in a moment. Um, there you go. Enabled weather sync. And it's kind of hard to see with all the 5PD stuff popping up in the background. But uh, right there, started resource weather sync. So we know we are good there. All right, so we're going to launch 5M. We're going to hop in and let's see what it looks like in game and see if it matches the current weather in California or LA. All right, so we have got an in-game here, and it does match the weather that is currently in LA. So currently, it is sunny out. Um, while it is windy, I don't think GTA can kind of go over the 
wind type aspect of it, but it does follow the main weather. So weather in terms of just rainy, sunny, all that good stuff. So clearly it is uh, clear and sunny out, which is what it is in LA right now. Um, so it does match the weather. Um, obviously, if you have issues, the author does respond on the forum page, so you can ask there. Um, and overall, other than that, it's a really cool resource. It allows for live weather in your game, which I really like because I don't like the default GTA weather system where it constantly changes like every 10 minutes. I really enjoy um, the realistic type weather where it could be sunny for like an entire month. And then if you switch it to somewhere that's snowing, it then snows. That's really, really cool. Um, but overall, have fun with this.